Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our Equal Stronger Together Conference. My name is Brenda Halloran, and it is my great honor to be the host and moderator of this exciting event. And I'm proud to say that I'm an investor and an advisor with Equal. This promises to be an informative, inspirational, knowledge-packed experience for everyone. And I must admit that I'm feeling a bit starstruck to be able to introduce the speakers and panelists today many of whom I've been waiting and wanting to meet and listen to and learn from. We have an amazing afternoon ahead of us. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to say that EQUO is founded on core principles of diversity, equity, inclusion, and mutual respect, which we believe are important cultural values at the heart of our community. EQUO recognizes that our work and the work of its community partners is conducted on the inherent and treaty lands of First Nations, Inuit and Métis peoples. Finding meaningful ways to work together and to contribute to the strength of Canada and to rural and urban Indigenous communities is one of our primary goals at Equal. It can be very difficult to be a business owner today. Finding capital, managing cash flow, and general operations can be challenging in good times. And these aren't the best times for founders, as we all know. But we can remove these challenges and find solutions to help us find the support we need to grow when we work together. So let's talk about it. As I said, welcome to the first inaugural Equal Stronger Together Conference. We will be addressing the current state of small business in Canada and hosting subject matter experts to discuss funding, capital, cash flow management, and tactics and strategies to be successful in difficult times. We will also hear the journey of three companies and what they've experienced and learned along their way. We have a full agenda today and I'm going to keep us on a tight schedule. So I'm going to be asking the presenters and panelists to please watch their time and we will be giving them a two minute warning because we've got so much to cover today and so much to talk about. And being on a tight schedule isn't easy when we have this fabulous conference ahead of us. 